This morning, I'm here with Brian Davidson, the executive vice president of Van Meter Homes. He's here today to tell us more about what Van Meter is all about. So welcome. Oh, thank you. Yeah, okay, so yeah. let's just jump into this. Okay. Uh, with so many builders to choose from right here in the DC metropolitan area, what makes Van Meter Homes stand out? Well, we're a privately held company. Mm -hmm. uh, been in business for over 60 years and being a privately held company, we don't answer to stockholders. Uh, we're not a big bureaucracy. Um, if we need uh, an answer, uh, something beyond my authority, it's a simple text to our CEO and we implement, assuming it's a good idea. Mm -hmm. um, we also a very diverse company. Uh, we build and manage apartments. Um, we build and manage commercial centers. We have, uh, we have a stake in four golf courses. Um, we have uh, two mortgage companies, two, uh, a title company, uh, health and racket club of all things. Mm -hmm. um, we have a uh, manufacturing facility that builds the products that go into our house. It's a big market differentiator for us. So you're and involved in a lot of things. Absolutely. We also have a remodeling company. I need to throw that out. We just went into business on that as well. So. Good for you. Yeah. So when we talk about diversity, it appears that Van Meter has a diverse collection of homes that are designed to meet the changing needs of buyers. So tell us more about your customer life concept. Okay, so we have everything for every stage of life from mm -hmm. first time home buyer mm -hmm. to active adult. And I want to mention we have a community coming up in Ramilton early next year, which is uh, 55, o 55 and over community within a community uh, in Loudoun County. Um, visit our website, vanmeterhomes.com, if you want to be on the priority list there. We're showing some pictures here. Where okay. is this? Can um, you see that one? Yeah, those are uh, our models in, in Brambleton. Yes. Okay. Yeah. The new, okay. So Van Meter recently acquired Arcadia Communities. Correct. So let's talk about that. Tell me more. Sure. So we had an opportunity to extend our footprint beyond where we primarily build now, which mm -hmm. is Fairfax, Prince William, and Loudoun County. Mm -hmm. Uh, Arcadia had 1,400 units available, uh, or we bought the companies. They had 1,400 uh, lots, and a little over 1,400 lots, and um, we were able to extend our footprint to West Virginia and Winchester with uh, some of those acquisitions. So 65% of the lots were in Loudoun County mm -hmm. area, and 35% were out in the uh, Winchester and West Virginia. We feel like that is one of the next horizons that's coming, and we um, hope that we're, uh, the customers will get to know us out there. Well, you've got some beautiful pictures that we're showing as you speak. Right. Um, I understand that Van Meter Homes is one of the most trusted and respected builders in the marketplace. So can you tell me about your company core values and how this has contributed to the reputation of Van Meter? Yeah, so the bottom line is we, uh, we care about our customers. We mm -hmm. also care about our employees. Um, we're very focused on satisfaction, both from a customer standpoint, but also employees as well. Uh, big on corporate wellness. Uh, mm -hmm. We have a gym on site at our office. Uh, we have uh, fitness. Um, classes that we have. We have personal trainers, Wow. Uh, weekly massages, which everybody loves. Mm -hmm. um, we have uh, monthly lunch and learns. Uh, we have a Fitbit challenge going on right now. And I know everybody in my company that's watching are happy to see that I'm sitting here talking to you and not walking around because I am winning that challenge. I was going to say, how you doing? Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so and the other thing I'd say is uh, we, we talk about is transparency. So uh, with the customer, you know, things can go wrong. Uh, mm -hmm. Building a home is uh, uh, a lot of pieces and parts that go into it. Um, the first thing that I'm going to say to a customer if, if something's gone sideways, and, and again, there aren't a lot of those, but right. if they do, is we're sorry. You know, right. and we're going to step up and we're going to do the right thing. I always tell customers we're going to effort to do the right thing. So tell me before we let you go, what are mm -hmm. some of the ways that Van Meter gives back to the community? All right, so we build beautiful communities and mm -hmm. we like to uh, be active charitably, uh, active in uh, hospice, uh, we're active in Children's National Medical Center. Mm -hmm and then homemade Northern Virginia. Um, we also have a foundation that we established that's made up of an, a, a committee of Van Meter employees that donate locally. Uh, we have a race for Children's Hospital every year. We've raised, um, for over the past 23 years, we've raised $2 million for Children's National Medical Center. And then finally, Homemade, uh, which is the builder's charity. We build and renovate shelters. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a cause near and dear to my heart because uh, I'm on the board of directors for that. So. Um, and lastly, I do want to mention we have a, a cornhole challenge in Brambleton uh, next Saturday, October 8th. The benefits uh, homemade, okay. and uh, the Van Meter Foundation is underwriting the uh, tournament, and uh, we've already raised forty thousand dollars. They're also going to match fifty percent of those funds. So nice. All right. All right. Well, Brian from Van Meter, we got to let you go for right now. But where can we follow you and get more information? VanMeterHomes.com. All right, thank All right. you so much for joining yeah, us today. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thanks. Stay with us, folks. We have more of Let's Talk Live coming up right after the break.